University of Arizona Wildcats beat uh, Cal Poly Prama um, Broncos. Uh, final score, University of Arizona Wildcats 67 to the Cal Poly Promena Broncos 51. Um, I haven't, I, I was kind of curious to see with the University of Arizona Wildcats uh, losing Nick Johnson and losing uh, uh, Aaron Gordon, uh, how they were going to be this season. I, I think that uh, Nick Johnson uh, from last year, I think he was one of the big reasons uh, he brought this team together. He had uh, quite a bit of charisma, I think, and, and he was a leader, and, and people people didn't mind so much following him. Uh, that wasn't so so difficult, and but I, I'm just interested to see who uh, the University of Arizona Wildcats, um, who steps up in that role uh, as far as being a leader. I mean, I I think that um, Rondé Hollis Jefferson is, I think he's interesting. He's someone to pay attention to. Um, and uh, let's see how many points did he have tonight. Uh, I think he had 10 was it 10 points? Yeah, 10 or 12. Yeah, 10. Yeah, I think he had 10 points tonight. Um, but he, but Rondé Hollis Jefferson, he's just not. He's not that leader that that you need. And and uh, the the good thing about having Nick Johnson as that leader was that he he could be a point guard. I mean, he didn't really take that point guard position because we knew that T.J. McConnell uh, would be a great point guard, and, and he was last season. He was he was uh, T.J. McConnell was fantastic as a point guard, and, and uh, you know there was times whenever whenever we needed a basket, and, and uh, T.J. McConnell was able to dribble, penetrate, or uh, you know uh, be able to draw draw a lot of people to him. And able to pass it off, and then somebody was able to knock down the shot. Um, but you know, it'll be interesting this season to see who steps up and who is that uh, who is that go-to guy. Uh, you know, something that was really interesting to me was uh, Gabe York. Um, I saw some flashes of Gabe York tonight that uh, that I liked. You know, I. He seems, he seems like he's comfortable as far as out there on the court. And, and even though he only made two for six from three-point land, um, which is not too bad. I mean, it's 30%, so it's not too bad. Um, but, you know, it, just, it would be nice to get, to get Gabe Bjork as, to be one of those go-to guys, one of those dependable guys. He was pretty dependable last year, uh, last season. Uh, um, there was times though that he would vanish, and and I guess that goes with everybody, you know. No matter who you are, um, uh, if you're a go-to guy, then you're going to have good games and you're going to have crappy games. But the crappy games, though, the, if you have if you're a go-to guy, then the crappy games you don't you might. You might do bad shooting. You might have bad shooting that night, but you can draw a lot of. But you but you're able to draw and and make contributions other ways, like draw a bunch of fouls, or uh, make a make a lot of assists. Um, and and speaking of somebody that made a whole heck of a lot of assists tonight, um, and that's one thing that I really really like about T.J. McConnell, is the amount of assists that he gets. Um, just fantastic. He had, he had 11 assists tonight, and and I think last year, I think uh, I was I was pretty darn happy with T.J. McConnell, our uh, the University of Arizona Wildcats point guard, if he made uh, over seven assists, and he made 11 assists tonight. So, you know, I I think that's pretty awesome. Uh, we, the University of Arizona Wildcats shot 50 percent. Um, Field goal percentage, uh, which is not too bad. 
although you know the the question comes to my mind well how tall was uh cal poly promena uh mustangs or not mustangs but broncos how how tall were they because if because i i don't think that cal poly was very tall because if you look at the amount of offensive rebounds defense rebounds total rebounds uh the uh, offensive rebounds of the University of Arizona Wildcats doubled up the amount of offense rebounds that the Cal Poly uh, Broncos had. They, the Cal Poly had four uh, offensive rebounds, and, and the University of Arizona Wildcats had nine offensive re- had nine offensive rebounds. Um, as far as defensive rebounds, uh, University of Arizona had 30. Uh, Cal Poly. Um, Ramana had 19. Um, uh, Brendan Ashley had uh, quite a few defensive rebounds, and uh, um, I was I was really really happy to see that because that means that Brendan Ashley is is not he's not uh, he's not fully back into the game as far as being tough and, and moving his body around and, and pushing people around and things like that and and being part of the team, um, although he's getting there, but uh, he had six uh, uh, defensive rebounds, and, and the only person that had more defensive rebounds, who would, who, who do you think would have more defensive rebounds? A point guard? T.J. McConnell? Wow. T.J. McConnell had seven defensive rebounds. That's <laughs> that's pretty amazing. I, I uh, I wouldn't. That wouldn't be something that I would um, uh, guess. But anyway, uh, uh, Brendan Ashley had four personal fouls. He was called for a technical foul against. Um, I think it was Hall, uh, Ryan Hall from uh, Cal Poly Promena. Um, and they did. They were. There was some kind of scuffle down in the box, down uh, down low in the box, and I, I didn't know. I, I can't remember exactly what it was, but uh, it was kind of nice to see Brendan Ashley get a little bit of fire in his belly. You know, um, uh, yeah, Brendan Ashley ended up with, what was it, 10 points. So that's not too bad, you know, for a post player. Uh, Caleb, uh, Caleb Tarzewski, speaking of post players, Caleb Tarzewski ended up with, uh, what was it, 12 points. And uh, it was really nice. It's really nice to see another post player. We, I mean, the university has quite a few post players this season, which is which is nice. And and another post player that that is new that came that came in this season was Dusan uh, Ristic. And um, it's nice to it's nice to see two strong post players. Uh, one especially strong uh, in Tarzuski, uh, being able to um, pass on his knowledge of what he's, you know, what he's seen and what he hasn't seen, and, and uh, you know how he can de- how you can defend and how you can do this or that without getting called for a foul. Because uh, 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 Caleb Tarzuski is a pretty smart player, and as far as the uh, how many how many free throws did he make? Uh, Two out of three, so that's not bad, you know. Uh, Tekel Trzyski is he's usually a fantastic free throw shooter, and, and if we can teach uh, Ristic to uh, not get in foul trouble like Caleb Trzyski didn't, he I think he had two per, two personal fouls. <coughs> and if we if if Caleb Trzyski can teach uh, Ristic to uh, uh, you know stay out of foul trouble. And uh, also uh, knock down his free throws, and be a big, you know, be be a good contributor to the to the final score. And and uh, we how many did we, we had the University of Arizona Wildcats had what was it five guys with uh, ten points or more. So you know that that's nice. And um, uh, another another thing that was kind of uh, Interesting for me to see is is um, Miller 
uh, for the the coach for the University of Arizona Wildcats does have uh, quite a bit of confidence in <coughs> in um, Johnson Stanley Johnson uh, that new hot freshman that uh, came in this season because uh, he put um, Stanley Johnson he he gave him what was it uh, 24 minutes total uh, play time and the rest of the uh, you know the the rest of the non-starters uh, didn't have as didn't you know probably had 10 10 minutes 12 minutes uh, play time um, uh, uh, Jackson Cartwright had uh, 12 minutes you know TJ McConnell I, I, I read uh, something that TJ McConnell was saying sure if you look at T, if you look at Jackson Cartwright um, then you're going to see this small kid, and you're going to underestimate him, and that's that's a big mistake, he said. And and uh, I I did agree <laughs> I did agree with him because it, whenever I saw Jackson Cartwright, then I thought, man, that guy is tiny. He's so young. I mean, he he looks so tiny. He looks so small uh, compared to the rest of the players. But um, and I, you know, I guess that this is somewhat of his first game. Um, although he handled it quite maturely, he, you know, he he's not out, he's not out there to uh, to goof around. He's he's he he's uh, going to be in you know ready for business. But um, but for right now, he's just uh, a little bit. Um, slow out of the gate. He's uh, he's learning his way around. He, he's feeling his way around. He's he's uh, you know he needs to get comfortable in 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 situations. But once he does, then I think that Jackson Cartwright is going to be he's going to be a really really nice contributor. Um, it'll be interesting to see because you know he is so small and and I wonder if he's going to be able to make those big, uh, you know, if he's going to be one of those uh, go-to guys, not necessarily in the first string, but in the second string, uh, one of those go-to guys. Um, Jackson Cartwright had, he didn't have any points tonight. Um, he only shot uh, one free throw tonight. Uh, so, he's got a ways to go, but you know, uh, everyone everyone uh, um, goes at their own pace, uh, learns at their own pace. So, you know, it'll be interesting to see what what happens at Jackson Cartwright. Stanley Johnson, I'm not too worried about. I, I I think that he will start to get comfortable with this team, and hopefully, hopefully, the University of Arizona can figure out. You know, can get the chemistry going. This season before the season ends, and uh, find somebody that will be that go-to guy. Um, maybe York. Maybe York wants to be that go-to guy. Uh, maybe Brendan Ashley does. You know, maybe uh, Bre- Brendan Ashley is a little bit. He's a little bit hesitant right now, tentative, and so uh, you know, maybe as the season goes on, then he'll get more comfortable especially with that foot, that broken foot that he had. Uh, you know, if he's going to just, you know, keep building up, keep building up and, and get stronger so that it can handle more wear and tear, uh, that broken foot. Um, he, it will, um, but I, I see a little bit more, I see a little bit more leadership in Gabe York. Uh kind of saying, hey, I'm going to be that new guy. You know, I'm going to be that new point. I'm going to be that new dependable guy, that new um, new person that everyone says, and so that go-to guy, you know, that that, that, that makes that extra shot uh, at the buzzer and uh, uh, knocks the point down and, and uh, puts the U of A ahead. So anyway, the University of Arizona Wildcats win this game against Cal Poly Promina um, uh, Broncos. Final score, University of Arizona Wildcats 67 to the Cal Poly Promina uh, Broncos 51.